What's going on everybody? Jason the Blessed Beardsman back with another beard product review for you. Thanks for coming by and checking out my channel. On this video, we're going to stay pretty local to me. We're just going to drive up a few hours up I-75 till we get around the Tampa area. And it's there that we're going to meet the Royal Beardsman. Stay tuned for this review. Like I said on today's video, we're talking about the Royal Beardsman. This is round number two, I believe, uh, for reviews for this awesome company. I will drop a link down in the description box below to the other video that I did for them. I give a little bit more information, I believe, if I remember correctly, um, about the company. So I won't go into a lot of detail about that now. But the, this company has one of the coolest logos in the game. They sent me a couple of these awesome stickers as well as a few really awesome uh, uh, business cards. They sent me a beard wash and a beard conditioner and also a beard oil to review for you. So let's dive right in. The first thing I want to talk about is their beard oil. It's a two ounce beard oil. It is their Crusaders Coast and this is um, a really nice packaging, really nice uh, label, the dark amber glass bottle with the eyedropper top. I want to read you the description of uh, the Crusaders Coast as they would describe it because I really found, uh, I thought they did a really good job with it. It says Crusaders Coast, a hidden island stricken from the history books located off the coast of the Caribbean described as an absolute paradise. Prized to only the most royal crusaders and noble beardsmen for their lifelong dedication to the throne. This scent is heavily blended with pineapple and coconut. I really like this oil. It smells exactly like a pina colada. Now, I've never drank, I've never had one sip of alcohol, one drop of alcohol, but I've had some pina colada flavored things before, and this smells exactly like that. And uh, so let's talk about uh, the ingredients. It says the beard oil contains nine nutrient-rich oils to promote hair growth and benefit skin and hair health. So the ingredients are virgin argan oil, pure jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, hemp seed oil, grape seed oil, and it's scented with premium grade essential oils. On the other side, there's some uh, instructions on how to use it. It says it's not tested on animals made in the USA. It, they tell you to store it in a cool, dry place. This product contains tree nut oils and natural botanicals, so allergy sufferers test before use. And it, they're located in Spring Hill, Florida. Their website is royalbeardsman.com. I'll drop that and their social media information down in the description box as well. So you can check them out, give them a follow, give them a like, check out their website so you can order a bunch of their products. So without further ado, let's take a look at the um, color and consistency of this oil. I will tell you that it runs on their website for $18.95. I believe they have nine different scents that you can choose from. I've tried their uh, Forbidden Orchard, which is a citrus scented beard oil in the last review. And they definitely have some other scents in there that I definitely want to try, including their Whiskey Glaze, which is a bourbon and glazed donut scented beard oil. And I love donuts. So um, <laughs> you can probably tell. So here we go on the color and consistency. I like the fact that there's this long eyedropper um, in there. It is a very uh, clear oil, maybe a slight, slight hint of yellow. I'll put some in my hand so you can see the consistency there. Okay. 
I would say it's a light, medium light oil. And man, it smells divine. So tropical. I live in a tropical climate. South Florida is a very tropical climate. And as you think tropical, as you think Caribbean, paradise, this is the scent that you think of. It smells absolutely fantastic. And it works really nice in beard as well. I already have some products in, so I'm not going to put it in. But it works really nice in the beard as well. So that is um, the that is Crusaders Coast. For Memorial Beardsman, $18.95, which is a fantastic price. They also sent me a beard wash and a matching beard conditioner in their peppermint scent. You can get the combo on their website for $24.95. You can buy them separately for $14.95. And like I said, this is the peppermint scent, but it's not straight peppermint to me. And we'll get to that in a minute. So as we look at the beard wash and the beard conditioner, they're both eight ounces. They're in the regular squeeze plastic containers with just the, the pop open top, okay? Nice label on the outside. They have the ingredients here, which I'm not gonna read all the ingredients. I can't pronounce half of them. But they also have some directions on there, keep out of reach of children and so forth. Now. Let's talk about the beard wash first. The beard wash um, is a, a pretty nice consistency. Um, it's not um, terribly runny, which is nice. It's a little thicker. And this one, to me, gives you more of the peppermint scent. It's, it, it's, it's more of a true peppermint scent than the other one. So that's a, that's a nice scent. It lathers up really nice. It does a great job of washing out your beard without... without um, doing any damage to it without making it uh, dry and coarse and that sort of thing. And then their, their peppermint co-wash, their peppermint beard conditioner, to me it om almost has a chocolatey scent to it as well. Almost like a chocolate peppermint. And I don't know how or why or maybe nobody else gets that, but to me it smells like a chocolate peppermint, which it's not a bad thing. Um, it's, it's nice, it's refreshing, it's, it's different. Um, so it's not a bad thing that it smells like that. It just, to me, it's not straight up peppermint. Now, it is a little bit more on the runny side, runnier side than I would like a, a conditioner. Um, it's not super runny that you put in your hand and just, it just goes, runs right off. But it, I, I would have liked it to be a little bit more thick. But again, that's just a personal preference type thing. It does work very, very well. It leaves your beard feeling real soft. And, 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 and I actually put, used it today. Um, I've been using it. You can tell now that I kind of sloshed it around the bottle. You can't really tell, but it's down to about here. And I've used it quite a bit, and I really enjoy it. Um, it has a great scent. It's Like I said, it's a little more runny, but it works really nice and your, it makes your beard really, really soft. So I would definitely recommend that. $24.95 for the, for the combo. You can't beat it. Um, I only wash my beard once a week. I co-wash every single day. So um, I'll be out of this way before this. This will last me a long time. Uh, but the 8 ounce is a great amount for a great price, it's gonna last you great uh, a long time, and it smells great, works great. I would highly recommend that, and I would highly recommend the beard oil too. I really enjoyed that scent. I love Royal Beardsman. Check out this really awesome shirt they sent me, and uh, they're great people. They have a great company. They're local to me, just a few hours away uh, in Florida, so we kind of have that special bond there. So make sure you check out RoyalBeardsman.com. I will put their website, their social media down in the description box below, along with the other uh, the link to the other video that I did, so you can check out those products that they sent me there as well. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can check out uh, the rest of the videos that I have coming up here soon. I have a really awesome 750 subscriber giveaway uh, coming up real, real soon, so make sure you stay tuned to my channel for that. Leave me a comment or a question. What do you think about the Pina Colada scent? What do you think about the peppermint scent? Maybe that chocolate peppermint uh, in the co-wash. If you've used this product, do you agree with me on that? Or do you think it's just straight up peppermint? I'd be interested to hear what you had to say in that regard. Until we see you on the next one, stay blessed, stay bearded. Bye-bye.